Hello, and in this episode, I'm be making a partial dumbbell interchange. It's uh, based off a interchange in um, Tenerife. I got the idea from someone who commented on Reddit on one of my posts. It was on uh, the roundabout inter interchange that I did fairly recently. He said that he lived next to a rotary interchange and sent me a link on Google Maps. And that led down the rabbit hole to probably three hours of looking at all the interchanges around Tenerife. And it's crazy. The motorway layout, it like it circles the whole island and every uh, I don't know, a couple hundred hundred meters there is an interchange, a different one suited to the environment because it's very hilly in uh, Tenerife, so I've been told it's quite hilly. I've never been myself. It would it looks like a great place to go. It's a very uh very sunny, very beach like very beachy, very black sand. But this one is based off uh, one it's very similar to this but it's, it's different because on my one I've got left hand track Vic because that's just the map I was using at this current time and in Tenerife they drive on the right so I had to sort of adapt it to fit which got confusing at times because straight off I was copying it and then I thought it's not going to work because the traffic's on the wrong side of the road and it, it got all messed up. So this is an adapted left-hand drive version and it basically is just to cater to traffic coming f uh, from the, I think it's the south and then up over the interchange onto the roundabout or if you don't want to go onto the roundabout you can go onto the uh, left or exit, the straight exit to hotels and there's a McDonald's and stuff like that. That's basically what this is. Also, you could also use it as a U-turn, I suppose. It, if this was in real life, there would be another interchange further up or down to cater for the traffic going the other way. I haven't built that yet. I may build that in the future. But at the moment, this is just catering to the, the city inwards slightly. And I don't really need double. Like it's just not necessary to have it going both ways. This perfectly suits the situation for which I built it for. I think, I would hope so. But I'll just get into more what I'm doing in the video. So in this part, I was looking at the uh, image on Google Maps. I noticed that they had this sort of weird uh, road running alongside it, very close. And there was parking like next to the road, so the road had to sort of curve around it, which I liked. So I kept that. It sort of uh, it allows traffic to exit onto the um, interchange and go straight across and onto the roundabout. I liked that. Uh, here I am just tweaking the um, interchange with Move It, trying to uh, get it just right. Move It, it's a great mod, it fixes all my problems. Another problem I managed to fix was these. These um, uh, overpass assets, they are amazing, they're great. The only problem is, the terrain they have to sit on the terrain so you can't l sink them in except I have found a way to sink them into the terrain but it is very glitchy and it just doesn't work I'll explain what I do but I, I do show it in the video later I think I just showed it then I showed it then amazing so basically what you do instead of uh, picking the asset off the list and then just placing it you place it down on the map somewhere else then you copy it and then you can sync that item this item at least 
into the terrain as far as you want. Like, it could be invisible. But the only problem is, the second you do anything like moving the terrain around the object, moving something with move it close to the object, it moves it, bounces it back up. So if you ever do this, this must be the last thing you do. Literally the last thing, and then you must never touch it ever again. Otherwise, they just ping up out of the ground. And I replaced it three or four times before I thought to myself, no, stop. This will be the last thing you do. And do it the last thing before you take the cinematics and before you take some screenshots. This is the last thing. So that, as you just saw there, it pinged up and I replaced it, thinking, oh, it'll be fine, nothing nothing bad will happen here. I, I was uh, I was wrong, it pings up a couple more times, and oh, but I'm just so amazed that I've never done this before, S copying them and then sinking them into the terrain. This means I can do so much with these uh, overpass things, it's amazing. If only they just sunk into the terrain on their own and I didn't have to copy them and then do this weird workaround. That make, means that they pop up if I touch anything around them. But it's better than nothing. There's so many times I've wanted to use these assets and I just can't because the, the height of them is fixed and they don't sink into the ground and It'd be so, it's so great to fill space, like as you can see here, I'm filling a big chunk of the slope with concrete, which in real life, I suppose in some places it would be a bit like that. It would be filled with concrete to make a more stable platform for the surrounding areas. I think in Tenerife, obviously where this is based off of, there's a lot of concrete supporting the, the uh, motorway because it's basically sunk into the ground and just it's very nicely done if you <laughs> should have a look at on google maps Ten tenerife it's amazing so here i'm using ronix's new decals the probable as asphalt i should have really made the terrain level before i did this because i couldn't use it everywhere but i could use it in most places or at least i tried to there are a couple places where I couldn't, and I had to use the normal uh, 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 decal asset. But it works, those work out good enough, those decal assets. I like them enough. They don't blend in as well as uh, Ronix's new asset, but I'd rather have them than nothing. I, I cover up all of the markings on the roundabout apart from the arrows because you you can't I could have removed them I suppose with the uh, traffic president but I didn't I forgot I probably should have but on roundabouts they do have arrows sometimes but I cover up all the normal road markings and just place a single dotted line through round the middle now, I know from experience that a lot of Americans don't understand that it, it, there can be a single dotted line around the middle and it doesn't have to exit because you're allowed to cross that line on a, a European or a British roundabout. So I've been told in Europe anyway, you can cross that line and it means nothing. But in America, they have designated lanes where you must mustn't cross and sort of follow the dotted line as it uh, enters and exits the roundabout but this one is just a single normal just circle round but that's that and here I am just doing some extra lane markings filling in the area making it look more realistic I suppose and I'm going to let the time lapse run up into the point where I get to something that's interesting to talk about. So, I'll see you in a bit.
As you can see here I'm applying the finishing touches to the interchange, just adding some sort of uh, wear. I suppose that painting with the uh, surface painter mod is my interpretation of where rain would gather and then go down the banks and create just uneven colours of grass. That's what my interpretation is. Also, I tend to follow those lines with uh, fed vegetation or foliage just to sort of uh, make them stand out because otherwise there's not much really you can fill in those spaces because in real life there's, there's nothing there except grass. And what I tend to see on American ones is there is a lot of this like wear from water that just flows down <laughs> into the interchange and creates these channels where uh, the water uh. has flown. Now this is the bit with the overpass assets that I sink into the terrain and make it look more flush, I suppose. Because with City Skylines the terrain is not amazing, it's workable. But the, you're left with, uh, you tend to be left with big, steep hills, especially when it's two roads are very close to each other. They tend to make the terrain steep. So this sort of flattens out and makes it more smooth, I think. I hope that's what it looks like, because I think it looks quite nice. It looks better when this is a, because this is such a tight interchange. It looks better than it would uh, if not. As you can see here, that is when it all popped up because I moved one bit of curb uh, asset. One bit messed the whole thing up. It was very annoying, but I just deleted them and I will I place them down later. So I'm just going through the final touches of finishing the interchange, adding foliage everywhere, foli adding it along the uh, surface painter lines, just a adding a bit of uh, uh, just <laughs> visual stimuli. I don't know that that sort of thing. I haven't actually spoke about this area, but this area is where a tram meets a bus stop. Now, what I imagine is that people at the hotel the other side of the uh, motorway would take the bus over to the tram stop and then ride the tram into town. That's why I imagine that doesn't happen in game, but I can imagine. And I, I thought it turned out quite nice. It was just a simple tram stop. I put some stone walls down, a couple benches. I maybe could have gone into a bit more detail, but this was already running into several hours work and I just wanted to finish it really. I was running out of not inspiration but just will to do this area. Sometimes I can go several days detailing, sometimes I can go several hours detailing. I suppose it just depends on the day and what I'm doing. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and there will be a couple more cinematics at the end so just
just enjoy the rest of the uh, time lapse. And I'll see you next time.